Hey guys, on the other side of the screen is the ice queens here, and I know I've been gone a while, school, uh, college, and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be reacting to are there healthy distractions, Sanders asides, <laughs> which I think is pretty cool. Um, we kind of skipped through like the little ad, like he, his, um, what's it called? Give me a second. I forgot. <laughs> Um, sponsor, I think that's what it's called. Um, League of Legends, so kind of skip through that. There's a little part that will still be spoken, um, but here we go. Let's get into it. Why do I pay for a membership if I still gotta watch the ads? I'm switching streaming platforms. <laughs> <laughs> I love this intro so much, it's great. Ooh. Guys, ah. Unless our problem is a hungry alligator, a remote pop. Ah, he's caused you the, the the onesies, the onesies. For a Florida dwelling so of course he's not a, a onesie. Well. I don't think running away is a good way to solve anything. Uh, tell that to you from twenty minutes ago. <laughs> oh, was that not nice? I, I didn't mean to. Um, I agree with your new opinion, Virgil. And the movie we're about to watch is going to demonstrate just how bad running and hiding. What movie? Can be. That is, if the film you submitted received the most votes. <laughs> I have a feeling it did. Now, I may not have voted for Frozen Roman, but I'm still rooting for your ass. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, my gosh. Falsehood. I did not vote for Frozen. You voted for because you didn't wear a onesie. I don't wear those anymore. They're too childish. No onesie, no one's similarly. I am skeptical about whether Thomas has anything to gain from a children's picture that he has already seen. Too childish? Nothing to gain. Thomas is in a bad place, Logan. They are always bickering. A bad place? Thomas is at home. And home is where the heart is. Oh my gosh, Pat. Wheels in her D.A.D. I can think of a few ways. What I've been trying to get at is, do you really think a distraction is the most helpful thing right now? I don't know. Thomas, I, I didn't know you were in this movie. <laughs> Rolling Stone. Some psychologists might be more inclined to call a distraction in this context refocusing or redirecting. In a situation like this one, in which there presently does not seem to I be I love his psychology lessons. To address his feelings without exacerbating the problem, temporarily redirecting his attention to something good or neutral can be beneficial. <laughs> oh, and who among us could forget the absolute bop that is this weird song? This weird ice <laughs> song. That song oh, is very weird. Song is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, look out. What? I'm just saying it's a chilled out groove. Oh. I might need you to leave. <laughs> no more Nordic inspired numbers. I love the sure we confront the piece together the of the video. Leave this mess behind us. Like these ice cutters are just freaking leaving this child behind them. Whose kid is he? Uh -huh. No one noticed they're leaving him. N not necessarily, Virgil. Some things need time. Like evolution. Okay, but I love the how does watching <laughs> this no one see so much. It's a key feature for many types of distraction. Externalization <laughs> means giving I also really enjoy the beast ones. It's really cute. Of one's own body. It's helpful because it can be much easier to give your focus to something than it is to actively take your focus away from something. Right. Hence frozen. Thomas is going to be seeing Frozen 2 for the first time tomorrow. I can't wait for that. I'm actually seeing it tomorrow. I'm excited. We just need something to look forward to. She's dangerous. Yeah, nope. See what you did there? You're making her feel <laughs> her power. I just warned you about that. Started yeah. talking to the pictures on the wall. Hang in there, Joan. Joan! Joan. Watching the outtakes She better stop with that TikTok sound. It's making me way too aware of the passage of time. <laughs> you have to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
Mm. <laughs> oh my god, Remus! <coughs> I threw out your phone so you couldn't do that. No, I mean... Are we making the right decision here? <sighs> okay. This phone case matches his jacket. Frozen is one of the newer Disney movies. I miss the hand-drawn animation as much as the next side, but this movie was an instant classic when- No, should Thomas be staying home right now? Well, Virgil, uh, Thomas made his decision, and I think we should all just try to settle into it. How are you telling me to settle into something right now when you've taken your sweet time to settle into things that you were uncomfortable with in the past? I, I just, I just think we should all just try to relax. You do realize who you're talking to, right? <laughs> Virgil, how many times has our response to a difficult decision been half committing to one option and subsequently panicking about whether that option is our best option until it's too late? Does Logan really need any more caffeine? asking me that question? I'm genuinely asking because I, I can't tell. Do you, do you want me to? I can count them out. No, no, no. 7,430. No, 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 no. You're just so literal. I, I don't know. No, Patton's right. We need to try to oh, wow. Out. The decision has been made. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, Hans is tricking Anna into believing that he's in love with her, but she's not around, so why did he make that face? Yeah, you're right. The only explanation for it is that this is his evil plotting face. <laughs> I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue. Oh, Man, yeah, I'm like so f***ed up on chocolate fondue. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Why are they dancing on the table? <laughs> uh, is something wrong, Patton? I just realized Anna falls in love so fast because most people have shut her out her whole life. Oof. And then the first person to give her attention since she lost her parents is actually just taking advantage of her. There's no way she's coming out of this situation without trust issues. Snow goes white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. Except for except for the footprints behind you. Hey yeah. <laughs> Never really no, realized that. Makes things worse. What's happening now with her? She, what if he thinks we're avoiding him? And that just makes him more mad at Thomas. He'll probably figure that Thomas isn't showing face because of him. He might have been an idiot back in the day, but he's not anymore. She really shouldn't let go of any more of her clothing, that's for sure. She's going to freeze to death. If he does think that way, and if he does get more angry, well then... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Or maybe we should try to cross the bridge while it's still sturdy, instead of trying to cross a crumbling bridge later. What about a bridge? If the bridge is crumbling later, <laughs> then it's because the violent storm that's out right now damaged the bridge. We shouldn't try to cross the bridge until the storm blows over. That's we pretty good advice. <laughs> like Elsa and let it go. lie low in our kingdom of isolation. Come on, Patton, don't go for the low-hanging fruit. There's a storm out tonight. <laughs> oh, poor so Logan. Social gathering seems ill-advised. It's for the best that you stay home. Do you think this ice castle has a lavatory? Ice toilet. Or a bed? Ice bed. <laughs> this place sounds awful. This thing with the reindeer outside of nature's laws. He definitely <laughs> the reindeer. <laughs> if only there was someone out there who loved you. If only there was someone out there who loved you. You meddled with the vote to ensure that we would watch this, and yet you're the one constantly making fun of it. Look, this is how I show my love. Something that's always bothered me with this movie is that an act of true love will save Anna's life. And we learned that that true love doesn't have to be romantic love. So why doesn't Olaf merely sacrificing his life to comfort Anna? Because he cares more about her than himself count as an act of true love. He even never says, thought of that. Some that's pretty true. People are worth melting for. Like, bruh. You've already done a good job of that yourself, Elsa. I bet he's talking about you. 
right now. Well, Thomas talked about him to other people. Uh, we're all Gatsby bitches sometimes. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with talking. Sometimes you just need to air things out or, or get a second opinion. But what if he's telling the story wrong and, and misrepresenting Thomas to everybody at the party? Everyone likes him. <sighs> he could turn everyone against Thomas by painting him as some unsympathetic, judgmental jerk. If Thomas's friends immediately and uncritically accept the first negative thing they're told about Thomas as a fact without first pursuing his perspective on what happened, then I'm doubtful that those friendships would have lasted under any circumstances. Also, if our combative compatriot were to slanderously misrepresent Thomas to that extent, then maybe that's not a friendship Thomas should try to hold on to. <sighs> maybe not. If he lied on purpose, but you only see things from your perspective, and your perspective is your eyeballs looking out, away from you, and that makes it a lot harder to see your own flaws, or where you went wrong, or... Oh, sweet Frank Iero. <gasps> what is it now? Maybe you were in the wrong. Maybe you were an unsympathetic, judgmental jerk. <sighs> Just think about it. Like I have a choice. When Rico <laughs> found out that you used to not support gay rights, maybe you shouldn't have immediately started angrily interrogating him because he used the past tense and he trusted you enough to share a history that he wasn't proud of with you. And sure, maybe he wouldn't have gotten around to some of the stuff you wanted to know about on his own, but things might have gone smoother if you just calmly asked later. And even though he had a right to feel angry, maybe you shouldn't have taken your anger out on him because he's right, he is a different person now. And attacking a person for opinions they don't have doesn't really do anybody any good. And even though he was being kind of snobby when he told you that your behavior is unacceptable, you still shouldn't have fired back, oh yeah, like me kissing a man is unacceptable because again, he doesn't feel that way anymore. And he's always been supportive and comfortable around you and your boy and now maybe we ruined a good friendship because we couldn't see past this past and we put the final nail in the coffin by skipping out on the party. Thomas, Virgil, <laughs> please do me a favor and name five things that you can see. Staircase. Impending doom. Olaf. A future without friends. Lamp. Life. <sighs> pants. Now, four things that you can feel. Um, pants. A bed. <laughs> Couch. Wall. Uh, hair. Three things that you can hear. Olaf. The fan. The ice machine, for some reason. Two things that you can smell. <laughs> Clean shirt. The deodorant Thomas put on because he was going to go out tonight. Whoa. And one thing that you can taste. A sour, sour taste, taste in my mouth probably, probably left over from those reheated tiny little leftovers. Dang. Your mind has been figuratively traveling through time and space. From unpleasant memories to worst case scenarios, both of which take place elsewhere. That cognitive commutation can be harmful because there's often not much that you can do in the here and now to resolve the issue. What I just had you do a moment ago was an exercise to remind you that you are here now in your apartment, not somewhere else dealing with something else. You are safe. All right. Thank you, Logan. No problem. Just you're a cool teacher being his cool self. You don't need more caffeine. <sighs> all right. Things <laughs> will be all right. They will. Even though Rico's views weren't all right, they are now. Yes. And I, sure, this. I think I don't know. It's <laughs> my feelings about him, but you know, I, I'll adjust. A past. Just like he had. Person's to. past well, views should not. But still, Effect if anyone can understand that now, sometimes my people need time to come around, it's him. He's all right by me. Things will be all right between us. Because we're still friends. At least as far as I'm concerned. Friendship is the best gift. Take it from Frozen's most inspirational song. Fix her up. People make bad choices when they're mad or scared or stressed. Throw a little love their way, and you'll bring out their best. Thank you, Roman. That's barely applicable. <laughs> Elsa, we the villagers have thought it over, and with no discussion whatsoever, we've decided we're not scared anymore, and ice magic is actually cool as hell. So, <laughs> Includes freezing water, freezing objects, creating ice and snow from nothing, instantly creating anything she can imagine out of ice, poison ice blasts that slowly kill you, giving life to snow and or ice, erasing fabric from existence, creating fabric from ice, I guess, melting snow and ice, telekinetic manipulation of frozen water, creating an eternal winter, creating an eternal mini winter snow cloud that can follow a subject around wherever they go, and reviving dead flora. 
Yeah, all checks out. With Elsa seemingly unstoppable ice powers, I I'd imagine Arendelle becomes a global superpower. No military force at that time could ever stand a chance against her never-ending army of ice golems. Oh, I get it. You shouldn't trust an open door. True love is a closed door that eventually is opened up to you. I can assure you that no one was thinking that when they made this movie, Patton. It's too bad we didn't go to that party. What if your soulmate was there? And now you're never gonna get another chance to meet him. Oh, sh Oh, sh Okay. Watching a film is clearly too passive of an exercise to allay Thomas's troubled thoughts. I think we need a more active distraction that Thomas can really think about and focus on. Should we vote on what we're gonna do next? Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <Don't touch it. laughs> One well, angry man. I was gonna rig the vote anyway. So I can just let you all know that we're gonna rewrite Frozen 1! Oh, are we going to amend the inconsistencies in the internal logic of the original film? No. Yes. I don't know what you're asking. We're gonna make it better. <laughs> I thought you said it was an instant classic. Instant classic doesn't mean flawless flick. Yeah, it's true. Those two phrases are not synonymous. Here's my take. Olaf fully melts by the fire while accompanying a dying Anna, which does qualify as an act of true love. Then, Anna must rescue Elsa from Hans, who gets a proper Disney villain song, maybe a reprise of Love is an Open Door, called I'm spitballing here, Love is an Open Wound. Then, once Hans is defeated and the sisters are reunited, we learn that Olaf had so much love for Anna because he was Elsa's creation. In other words, Olaf was imbued with Elsa's sisterly love for Anna. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wow. Nah, not my kind of fan fiction. I'm going to bed in the box. Oh, 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 and then since Elsa can create life, she can resurrect Olaf from the bottom. But would bringing Olaf back lessen the weight and impact of his sacrifice? Maybe Olaf the Puddle Man has already evaporated by the time they make it back to the ice. You're going circles, but how about the Wonder what he's typing? <laughs> Sorry. I what is up, oh, Do you like still... the holiday season? Do yes. you like sand sides? Do you yes. like the idea of new sand sides sweater? <laughs> You just do it. Do you yeah. like the idea of new Sandicides holiday sweaters, including dark side sweaters? Because that's what you're getting. Is it, am I going to use my real voice at all of this? And also scarves to Ooh, go with the sweaters. Scarves. Them all or some <laughs> at shop Did you like this video? We were attempting to make a slightly simpler Sanderside series that wasn't directly tied to the main narrative, so that we can hopefully give you Sanderside content more frequently. Hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> see. You like it though? You want to see more of it? Yes, 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 below. I do. You also yes. Want to share some other distractions. Yes, I would love to see more Sand Asides in between Sand Asides videos. I love them. I love Sand Asides. They're awesome. Um, yeah. If you didn't see the last video I posted, it was reacting to this, I believe, which was really cool. Um, no, I got charcoal in my case. Sorry, I was doing a charcoal piece of Thomas Sanders. I'll. I'll I don't think I'll put a picture in, but if you guys uh, want to see it, you can comment down below and I'll probably, um, I'll most likely, I'm definitely going to upload it to t Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave that, the links in the, the description. Um, and I can't wait for the new Sanderside's video that's coming out. Um, that is coming out hopefully soon. I don't know. Um, I'm very excited for it. Freaking notifications! But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have to edit this and get ready for work and stuff. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe maybe. I'm definitely going to be posting more Sanderside's reaction videos. And love you all and bye!